Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're gonna connect a domain manually to our Unbounce account. Now, you may wanna do this if you tried connecting automatically or through the WordPress plugin if you have a WordPress website and you ran into any issues there. You can always set it up manually, so I'm gonna go through those steps. Just to review the steps here is you're gonna set up a subdomain in Unbounce, and then you're gonna log into where your domain is hosted or the domain name provider. So in my example, I'm gonna log into godaddy.com and then you're gonna add a CNAME record. Now it might take a few minutes or even a few days for that to propagate and configure, but once it's done, uh, it'll be set up and then we're gonna enable HTTPS in Unbounce and then change your landing page URL in Unbounce and then publish and republish the page. So let's go ahead and jump into it. On Unbounce, we're gonna to go to the domain section and then we're gonna click try connecting a domain manually. So this is where we're gonna set up the subdomain. So this is gonna be pre-appended to the domain. If you already have your domain purchased, you probably don't wanna use www because that's probably where your domain is already living. So we're gonna use a subdomain and you can use anything you want here. Some common ones are demo, try, get, Go. So I'm going to just say go dot and then this is where we put the domain name. So mitchellantonio.com. So the landing page is going to live on go.mitchellantonio.com. And again, you can use anything you want here. And we're going to go ahead and click create domain. And then we're going to go through the manual process to show you that. So I'm going to click connect manually. You can see and notice that this domain was on GoDaddy. So you can go through the automatic connection, but if you're, you need to go through the connect manually because you ran into any issues there, you can do it here. So I'm going to click connect manually. And now we're going to log into GoDaddy and we're going to add in a new CNAME record to the DNS settings. So we're going to copy to clipboard and it's gonna copy this code snippet here. Now, if you're not using GoDaddy, maybe you're using another domain service, another provider, or your DNS is set up through your hosting, that's okay, you're just gonna to need to log into that account. So in my example, I logged into uh, GoDaddy here, and what you're gonna look for is anything that says DNS and uh, or manage DNS settings, that's what you're gonna look for when you log into wherever your domain name was purchased. So I'm gonna click DNS here, and it's gonna bring up the DNS settings for this domain, mitchellantonio.com. Now I'm gonna add a new record. So I'm gonna click add a new record. And for the type, you're gonna choose CNAME. So I chose CNAME here. And then for the name here, uh, sometimes they call it like host or some other uh, uh, names, but for name, this is where you're gonna put your subdomain, so I'll put go. And then for the value, this is where we're gonna paste in this uh, text snippet that we just copied from Unbounce. So we copied that, and then for the value of our CNAME record, we're gonna paste that in. And then you can just leave the TTL as is. So I'm gonna click save. And then it's gonna ask me to verify for my account, so I'm gonna have to add in a password real quick. So I've successfully added a new CNAME record. So if you scroll down and look at your, your, your DNS settings here, you can see the CNAME record that I added, which was uh, go, and it's pointing to the unbounce uh, value there. So now we're gonna go back into unbounce and we're gonna click got it. And then we're gonna click close. And then we're gonna enable HTTPS to make sure the site is secure, so I'm gonna Click I'm sure. And now you can see the status is configuring. Again, that can take a few minutes, uh, a few hours, or even a few days in some cases. So it's configuring there. Now, if you wanna make sure it was set up correctly, you can go to this website, MX Toolbox, and I'll, I'll put that in the description. And you can type in the CNAME record that you just created. So it's go mitchellantonio.com. And then you can click enter. And we can see here that the DNS record was published successfully, so it should configure properly. And now we're gonna go into the pages section of Unbounce and we're gonna click our landing page and we're gonna change the URL to point to the domain, the subdomain we just created. And I'll click the URL here to edit it. 
So then for the domain name, we're going to find the subdomain we just created, go.mitchellantonio.com. And then for the page path, we're going to, you know, I'll type test here. And you can enter any page path you want. And I'll click save URL. And then I'm going to publish this to make it go live. And you can always republish it if you've already have your site published. And then if I click and open up the page in a new tab, you can see it hasn't, it's not shown yet. So usually it takes a little time for that domain to uh, configure, but let's give it a few more minutes and then um, we'll go back and try out the page again. Now you can see my domain uh, went from configure to working and secure. That took about 15 minutes. It might be longer for you or it might be shorter, but you wanna wait until it says working and secure and that means it's set up properly. Now if I go back to uh, my domain here, go.mitchellantonio.com slash test, the page is working. It's just a test page here, but it is working. So it's been set up correctly. Now if you run into any issues with it, I'll put a link for some unbounced documentation in the description that you can take a look at. And you can also leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try to help troubleshoot it if I can. So let me know if you have any questions on that or run into any issues. And thanks for watching and have a great day.